woman that could take your spot, man. If I wrote you a symphony Just to say how much you mean to me Hey guys, it's Kendra. So, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday. And Kelsey and I, well, just me actually. I'm so used to saying Kelsey and I because um, the last video we filmed on the beauty channel was together. But today is just me. I'm getting ready to film a video for our beauty channel, our main channel. And I have been so unmotivated to film on the Glam Twins channel, mainly because we've been putting up so many vlogs like this whole year so far. And it's very hard to manage two channels like equally like post the same amount on each one so we haven't been posting as much on the main channel we've been posting obviously but not as much as we usually do but we're doing the best we can right now because I, I haven't been motivated to film I'm not gonna lie because blogging like just in itself takes enough effort because I feel like when you vlog it's more of like a lifestyle more casual thing and you feel like you and you have to be in the mood to pick up the camera Whereas like when you film a beauty video, you have to be inspired creatively. Um, and I haven't been feeling like that lately. I feel like I have to be in two different moods to film. I mean, to pick up the camera for each channel. And you guys seem to really enjoy our vlogs. And I feel like not that many people have been watching our beauty videos. So it's very hard to even want to post. Like if you feel like you know, no one's gon gonna care that you posted on the beauty channel. I know like a lot of y'all still watch our um, main channel vi videos, but I'm at a point where I just don't like to waste my time and I want to post things that, you know, obviously that I feel good about posting because obviously that's my number one reason. Like if I want to post it, then I'll post it. But if I'm not feeling it, it's just nothing's gonna go up. But you guys let me know like if you want to see more videos on our beauty channel and we will put more effort into the main channel but i just i've been feeling unmotivated to post today i felt the spark and i'm gonna film an empties video lately when it comes to like filming for the beauty channel it just has to make sense for like what i'm already doing and an empties video just feels authentic to me right now because i have been collecting so many products so I'm gonna do that today. Um, I'm filming this on a Friday, but I'm pretty sure it's probably gonna go up on Monday or Wednesday. I feel like when you've been doing this job as long as Kelsey and I have, it's very easy to get burned out or feeling uninspired or unmotivated. Cause for any of you guys who only watch our vlog channel, um, our beauty channel, we have had the channel for over a decade. That's a long time to be doing one thing. Cause I know people, look at this job and think it's super easy and it's not you constantly have to have ideas and if you're excited about a video there's not a 100 percent chance other people are going to be excited about it so you definitely have to have like intense passion for it but that passion may not always stay there once you've been doing it this long especially when with a job like this when things are always changing the algorithm is changing trends are changing like the people who watch us have been growing up with us so we're like all like around the same age and then i know we have like obviously younger viewers but i feel like this space is dominated by like the gen z it feels like that i know a lot of them are on tiktok i'm not on tiktok i don't plan on it this job takes some grit i think a lot of people don't know what they they're getting themselves into once they start this kind of job because it's like when you're in it you're in it it's kind of hard to like Focus on other things because you have all these expectations. I'm just ranting right now. You guys are probably like, where is she going with this? I'm just ranting. I'm going nowhere. This is just me saying how I feel right now. And at this point, when it comes to anything creative, you don't feel like you're doing anything new because, like I said, when you've done it as long as we have, it feels like everything has already been done. When I do certain videos, it just has to feel like natural. It has to feel like something I want to do. Like, it can't be something like just because everybody else is doing it. That's not a good reason for me to do it. It has to be something that feels natural and authentic, which has always been mine and Kelsey's, you know, way of doing things anyway. Things may change next year, but right now we're going to keep posting on the vlog channel, of course. And we shall see how things continue to go as far as how we feel for next year for 
both channels. So I'm all ready to film. Have all my products out. And my hair is still a little bit damp. You probably can't tell on camera. It's kind of wet in the back because it takes forever to dry depending on what I use. But have my setup and I'm contemplating if I need more light. It sucks we've been filming less because this beauty room is such a vibe. I love the feels in here. And I love filming in here. Got my little candle lit in the back, creating some ambiance. This is the only light that I currently have is a ring light on. I may only need this one, but I may turn Kelsey's vanity light on. So we shall see. So today is Saturday. We're already about to go winery hopping. Going to a few wineries with one of our friends. Um, so we're going with her. We haven't seen her in forever. After the few wineries we go to, we're gonna go to dinner. It's a fish place it's called Fish Time. And I forgot the name of all, oh, excuse me. I forgot the name of all the wineries, but I will have them on the screen as we like go to different, to each one. We're supposed to be leaving the house now is 129. So, we made pretty good timing. I was kind of rushing to get ready because I was supposed to finish filming a reel, but my hair didn't turn out exactly how I wanted it to, so I'm gonna have to refilm the reel. Like, we'll film a video or a reel and then completely not like it and have to like refilm it, not even like it. So, by the way, this is what I'm wearing. So, it's nice out, but it wasn't like sweater weather to me. And then I just cut like this cute little slit like in the middle. So, yeah. Super cute, super comfortable. Uh oh. By the way, this is the fragrance I'm putting on. This is from the brand Mood X. I think that's how you say it. Um, I got this in a swag bag at the Pretty Girl Sweat event. And this is actually a black owned perfume brand. And I'm obsessed with this scent. This is in the scent Hunk Star. Oh, this one smells so good. I haven't smelled any of the other scents, but this one is my favorite. And I already ordered the full size because it just smells so good. It has like notes of like incense oh it just smells like so clean and like hmm i just love it 
Smells so good. Yeah, it has like an instanty, sexy, clean vibe. And warm too, like kind of warm. And then it has like notes of leather. Put a little bit more on, cause you know, dealing with Kendra, I ain't gonna be able to smell myself. So. I'm probably just gonna wear some combat boots with this. Then I'm just gonna throw on my cute envelope Fendi bag. This is actually vintage. I thrifted this from the stair. It's so cute. So I don't think they sell this style anymore, which is why I wanted it. Cause I've been recently shopping like a lot of vintage bags just because, I don't know. I just like original things. So yeah, this is super cute and it fits wallet keys. Oh, I need some lip gloss. I'm in here. I just throw this one in here. Uh, hand sanitizer, hand cream. It actually fits a lot of things for it to be an envelope bag. But yeah, you can just snap it here. Super cute. Love that. Yeah, I think this is like from the 90s. Yeah, this is like a 90s style, but super cute. Kelsey's getting some gas. And I'm trying to squeeze in like a mini meal before. I hope they have like charcuterie. Charcuterie. Because <laughs> I, I obviously don't like to drink anything on an empty stomach. Because we're not having like dinner until later, like at six. Yeah, six. So I still need to have something in my stomach. So I'm having Ezekiel toast and some apples. So hopefully that can hold me over. <coughs> don't forget to eat your toast. I'm going to eat it. I just need, I was trying to gas at first and like uh, wipe my hands off, even though I put the paper towel over the, the gas out. I know. I will show y'all my outfit, but I feel like it's a variation of things I've worn before. It's just giving fall. Brown, black. I did switch to my other new, my brown bag. It's basically the brown version of the black one that I've been carrying. So cute. From Amazon. I'm pretty sure it's in our Amazon storefront. It's from JWP or Pay. I don't know how to say that. If you guys are wondering, we're gonna be late. Yep. It ain't my fault this time. I mean, Claude used to us being late. That don't mean we should be late. No, I know, but we usually late because of you, so. I know, but we that's usually why... late because of me. That's why I say it's not my fault this time. I don't think it's either one of our faults. I just think we lost You woke track up late. No, I, I, had, I had clothes on when I came upstairs. When I came to the bathroom, she still had like, pajamas like, on. Woke she up was at brushing her teeth. I woke up at the time of my alarm. Well, your your alarm got you late then. Mm -hmm. I asked y'all because I was already up like an hour before. Okay. So I was trying to like get some extra sleep in, and then sleep. my body just naturally uh, was already up. Damn. She said, "See, she's leaving now. She just texted me, leaving now." So we're going to Big Door Vineyards first. Big Door Vineyards. I've never heard of any of these vineyards. Um, but Claude always has all like the inside tea on the best vineyards and like wine yes. spots. Oh, that's almost 20 minutes. 20 minutes? Okay. So we'll be semi-late. All right, guys. We made it to Big Door Vineyards. It's so pretty out here. It's like the perfect, gorgeous fall day. Oh, let me should probably close my door. So we forgot to give you guys updates on each vineyard before we left or when we left, but Big Door Vineyards was cool. It was like more laid back atmosphere. The service was really good. It was a little bit slow. Like when we first got in there, like the line was really long and they were going kind of slow, but the wines were pretty tasty and the views were stunning. Um, so I highly recommend if you are in the North Georgia area to check them out. Now, Kulisi Vineyards was our favorite out of the two that we went to that Claudia recommended. This one was a little bit more like family owned, a little more quaint and cozy. Um, the grounds were beautiful and the people were really, really nice and super informative about the wines. We had like a pumpkin wine um, that was really, really good. All three of the ones that we tried were good, um, but the, one of the pumpkin ones that I had was delicious. And like I said, they were super sweet here, very accommodating and very quick. Um, and we got a table soup super fast. You just find a table and sit. Um, and they had like cute dogs running around and you can bring your own food. Um, you can't bring outside alcohol to either vineyard that we went to, but they were super sweet and accommodating.
So Unwind and Tapped, we actually weren't supposed to end up eating here, but we did because we were talking for way too long and missed our reservation at our next restaurant that we were supposed to go to because we were supposed to be just trying wines here, but we ended up eating here and the food was actually really good. They had one of our favorites, which was Quilt. Um, and like I said, the food was the bomb and the service was great too. Hi guys, so today's Sunday and um, we didn't get a chance to do our normal cleaning routine on yesterday because we usually clean on Saturdays, but I'm just doing things that I would have done yesterday today. Uh, we were out way later than I thought we would be. Like, let me sit y'all down. Yeah, we were out way later than I thought we would be last night. I thought we would get back at like nine and we got back at like 12. It was like, I think 12.09 when I pulled up in the driveway. So we were just talking, catching up. We hadn't seen our friend Claudia in like almost a year. And we told each other that we weren't gonna do that no more. But as some of you guys may know, the older you get, the harder it is, it is to see your friends, especially when your friends start having kids. I understand. But next time we hang out, we're just probably just gonna, gonna do like a girls night in because that's typically our thing because all of us are homebodies. So we're just gonna do that next time we hang out. Right now, I'm about to eat some lunch, which leads me to today's sponsor, which is Factor. You guys know we love Factor. So thanks Factor so much for sponsoring today's video. Factor makes meeting your nutrition goals easier than ever by delivering fresh, never frozen, dietitian approved meals right to your doorstep. They have a team of gourmet chefs that create each meal using only ingredients with integrity to help you feel your best all day long. If you're too busy this fall, but want to make sure you're eating well, Factor helps you skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and the prepping and cleaning up as well. You can still get the flavor and nutritional quality you need. Factor's fresh, never frozen meals are ready in just two minutes, so all you have to do is heat and enjoy. Also level up with Gourmet Plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. You can treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, and asparagus. If you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch, keep your energy up with lunch to go. Effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. Now, if you're looking for calorie conscious options during the busy season, try delicious dietitian approved calorie smart meals with the round or less than 550 calories per serving. And for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold pressed juices, shakes, and smoothies. Okay, guys, so I tried a new one this time. This is the mushroom, tomato, and goat cheese cavatappi. That's usually my favorite pasta one from them is the veggie cavatappi, like with just the cavatappi pasta. And it has cheese in it too, but it just has different kinds of vegetables. And this has mushrooms, mushrooms, and zucchini in this one. So make sure you guys head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code GLAMTWINSTV50 to get 50% off your first factor box. All right guys, so I got a package from Sephora. All right, turn this down. I think I made this order like a day and a half ago. This was supposed to get here tomorrow, but it got here a day early. So I'm glad I got here early so I can go ahead and show you guys what I got in this vlog. I actually just needed, honestly, some more serums from The Ordinary, but there were some things in my face I had been wanting. So I was like, let me just go ahead and get these two because I'm out of my morning serum. Because right now I'm using the Alpha Arbutin 2% in plus HA, uh, hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary, but I'm almost out of that. So I wanted to try their oil control niacinamide serum. Niacinamide 10% plus zinc. This is the one that I want to start using in the morning. Wait, what is this? They gave me extra serum. This was not in my cart. 
I did not order this. I'll take it. That's my blessing for today. Okay, so the first serum that I got is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Plus Zinc. So this is the morning serum that I got. Because I've been liking the Alpha Arbutin. It's only 2%, so it's like a low percentage. So I haven't seen a huge difference in like my skin. <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> I don't know. Sorry, guys. Oh, he sacked somebody. Okay. I think it was a quarterback they sacked. That's who you sacked, Kendra, the quarterback, my love. Oh, sorry. My <laughs> nice. Okay. Again? Get him. Oh, this is 100 for sack. Oh. Sorry, y'all. We watching a football game. But yeah, so I just got the nice Niacinamide, so I want to try this. Hopefully, I like it more than the Alpha Arbutin Serum, because like I said, I didn't notice a huge difference in my skin with that. So, got that. Then I wanted to try their lactic acid serum and they ended up sending me two so i hope i like this i have heard good things about this one this is their high strength lactic acid superficial peeling formulation it just looks like that uh oh sorry y'all so yeah it just looks like that and then i wanted to try their um two percent salicylic acid serum because i'm almost out of my la roche posay um salicylic acid serum the blue one so the one in like the blue bottle I do really like that one. Um, it's just way more expensive than this one because La Roche-Posay for it to be drugstore, it's like very expensive. It's very expensive for it to be drugstore. So hopefully I like the Ordinary Salicylic Acid 2% Serum. So got that. So I think that's all I got from the Ordinary. And then I just got two more things. I got a perfume and a body oil. So this Fleur Somebody Wood perfume, I actually had the sample size of this last year and i wore it when i was in la when we went to we went to tia's event um for her new uh hair product line and i had the sample size so i wanted to see if, how it like lingered on me throughout the weekend and i got so many compliments so i just went ahead and got the full size this is the most amazing smelling fall scent that i've ever smelled me personally and it lingers all day it has great projection smells amazing it's like sweet and woody at the same time so it's like the perfect balance of sweet because it's not like nauseous sweet and it's not like too woody to the point where it just doesn't smell like perfume so it's like it's like the perfect balance it smells amazing so the notes for somebody wood is in the earthy woody family warm wood so the top notes for this are sandalwood, amber, and musk. Way more complex than that, to be honest, though. So if you've been looking for a new fall scent, highly recommend this. It's amazing. And then the last thing I got is a new body oil. Because I used to love the Caudalie one. It was like in a taller bottle. But they have uh, a new one from um, Caudalie. Caudalie, I don't know how you pronounce it. This is their smooth and glow oil elixir for body and hair but i'm just going to use this on my body because anything that says it's for your body i don't think you should use it in your hair me personally so plus i wanted to see how this smells because i love hair and i love a good body oil oh it smells nice it's like a nice fig smell yeah this smells really good it has fig and pear prickly pear it's not greasy yeah i'm gonna incorporate this with my current favorite body lotion the eucerin ultra repair lotion i've been obsessed with that lotion from target well i've only gotten it at target i'm sure you can get it at any drugstore but that lotion's amazing so this with that yes that is all i got a little mini haul so i didn't get that much stuff because like i said i only went on there for serums to get more serums uh that i ran out of and then to try like one new serum actually two new serums so yeah that's it for my sephora haul